Steve Bannon attacking the head of Fox News, reacting to court filings that show that Rupert Murdoch, along with Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and others, knew that Trump's election lies were lies. Okay, Murdoch, here's the way it's going to be, brother. You've disrespected Donald J. Trump long enough, okay? They don't respect you. Read the depositions. The deposition, they have a fear, a loathing, and contempt for you. The Murdochs immediately have to start covering President Trump. Bannon calling Fox shareholders to take auction, which is telling because, as we know from Tucker Carlson's own text messages, his motivation, at least he said at that time, for pushing what he made very clear he knew were lies about the last election was because uh, he was upset about the company's stock price going down. He thought that that would, uh, you know, protect it. Tom Foreman is out front with more on how Tucker Carlson went all in on the lies. When Donald Trump lost the presidency, Many Americans will never again accept the results of a presidential election. When Republicans fell short of their midterm oh, goals. Arizona. It certainly looks like it's rigged. And even now, Tucker Carlson keeps pushing unproven claims that Democrats are somehow cheating. It is galling to be lectured about democracy by a man who took power in an election so sketchy that many Americans don't believe it was even real. At Fox, election denialism has been broadly promoted by its many stars. But even there, Carlson's fervor has stood out from the start. If you're a Trump voter and you suspect that this election was stolen, was rigged, you're onto something. He has savaged the security of elections and the credibility of election officials. The people in charge rigged the game. He's repeatedly pushed wild conspiracies about machine switching votes and only occasionally said that's not been proven. We're not really very serious about democracy if we're using electronic voting machines. Never mind that such claims helped spur a massive lawsuit against Fox by the Dominion Voting Systems Company, which denies any wrongdoing. Never mind a Dominion filing in that case shows Carlson privately called accusations of election fraud with no evidence ludicrous, totally off the rails, and shockingly reckless. On air and online, Carlson has howled about how unfairly he and other conservatives are allegedly treated. They are tying white nationalist terrorism to Trump voters. Claiming Washington insiders are using the 2021 attack on the Capitol to smear patriotic, peaceful Americans. It was not even close to an insurrection. Court records even say when a Fox reporter dared to fact check a false claim by the former president, Carlson quickly wrote, please get her fired. It's measurably hurting the company. The stock price is down. Not surprisingly, Democrats were enraged when the new Republican speaker, Kevin McCarthy, released all the security footage of the January 6th attack to Carson exclusively. One of the people who's done more to destroy faith in this democracy than just about anyone else. The man who is still not saying clearly and openly, Joe Biden won and Donald Trump lost, fair and square. Was the 2020 election a miracle? Honestly, we don't know. We don't expect to get an answer to it tonight. We asked Fox for any further comment on this. They sent us this long release that they have where they basically argue in the Dominion case that this was a great big story and that everyone, including Tucker Carlson, was doing what journalists do, just asking questions. What's not clear here, though, Aaron, is these questions were asked in the wake of the election. That's a long time ago now. And they were all answered. There was nothing wrong with the election, nothing that would have made a difference. And yet, Tucker Carlson and some others just will not let it go. All right. All right, Tom, thank you very much. It is incredible to hide behind the just asking questions when you know that you're asking a question about something that is untrue. So by asking, you're having people believe it's untrue. That's what's at the heart of the case and the whole malice issue. But it, it kind of defies belief that they think anybody would fall for that. Uh, out front now, Bill Kristol, who founded the conservative magazine The Weekly Standard, where he was Tucker Carlson's boss. Uh, Bill was also a Fox News contributor for a decade. So, Bill, this is what it comes down to, right? This whole, well, we were just asking questions, um, right? That's, that's, that appears to be the defense. Um, do you, you've known Tucker for many years. Do you think that he um, really believed in the election lies? I mean, his text show that he didn't. Um, or are you surprised about how he says, said one thing on the air and was saying the opposite off air? I, mean, I haven't spoken to him for quite a while, so I, maybe he's changed some. But no, he doesn't believe the lies. He's lying. I mean, people are unwilling to just say the obvious fact. 
it's not that he's asking questions. It's not that he's a little bit disingenuous or says different things on air uh, than off air, though that is the case, of course. He is consciously lying for the sake of power, for the sake of money, for the sake of celebrity, uh, for the sake of, of, of his own, well, you know, what he sees as his own stature uh, in a Trump, in a Trump uh, America, a Trump administration, certainly. And, uh, and there you are. And that's true of others at Fox as well. And Fox sanctions it. I mean, and, let's just be honest. This, this is not like a confusion or a misunderstanding no. or a little bit of lax, you know, uh, rules and administration by Fox. Yeah, and, and you know, one interesting thing, too, um, you know, when you think about it is Bannon today. Right, Bannon coming out. Now, I know Bannon has, has, has you know, kind of started to say he's more of the, the real right winger, right? The real voice of the people as opposed to Fox News. Okay, that's true. But what's interesting is it it seems that, that, that Fox's hope has been that their base viewer will not pay any attention to any of this. They're not talking about it on their network. No one's going to hear about it. But Steve Bannon just went out at the, the top, you know, conservative uh, event and said, Fox News disrespects you. Don't have anything to do with them. Does that matter? And that's, of course, because Steve Bannon is, remains a Trump supporter. Trump pardoned him for the crimes right. for which he was convicted. And uh, Fox has turned to, to be for DeSantis, I guess, at Murdoch's direction. So there's a little fight here among the different kinds of liars and uh, and uh, uh, fraudsters, frankly. And, you know, they're they're sniping at each other. But no, Fox, Fox what's most interesting, I think, from what I've read of the deposition, is that Fox was most concerned not about the truth, not about um, doing something civically responsible to stop whipping people up, which ultimately led to January 6th, among many other bad things in our country. Uh, Fox was the, it was the opposite. Fox was worried that someone would get more extreme than they and, just, and, and take viewers away from them. That began to happen after they called the election correctly, uh, for Arizona, you know, called Arizona correctly on election night and proclaimed Biden the winner, as they, uh, which was true. And, and so they got worried that they weren't extreme enough. And that remains, I think, I see no evidence that Fox is changing its ways. I mean, is there a single piece of evidence that anyone at Fox is more responsible now than they were a year or two ago? The, the insurrection, January 6th, everything else that's happened seems to have made no difference to them. Right. Well, they've given their, their most powerful and important slots as they uh, see them to people who put that forth. Obviously, there are uh, some, you know, fantastic uh, journalists there, um, but that is not what we're talking about right now. All right. Thank you very much, Bill.